So sawa sawa. Acha tubongeje vitu kadhaa zile zime happen hii wiki. Mm, yeah. um, this past week it has not been a good week for rappers. Mm. Uh, cause last week on Friday kuna msana itwa AKA. I think in the time to kuna do show. Mm. Msana itwa AKA was taking his last breath on earth. Mm. Um umsel kwa shot uh, next to best yake. Uh ulo best yake at inasemekana ndio msel inside ya go solo. Apparently at some point he used to be part of a group. Oh. Mm. Um, so they were both killed pamoja. Mm. Uh, when I watched the footage niliona mm. AKA Monyaki akichapwa. Mm. Mm. alafu this other guy dropped me i thought it was just cuz ile 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 noise mm. when he was also shot mm. yeah alafu ak pia tikiwa chini walimpump at least six bullets into him yeah uli watch you kitu eh eh kuna hiyo tu ile msana anakaa mtu hivi anawoke up to him mm. ilikuwa tu ile live tu iko pale tunaje vile kutenda inja clubs juu ya whatever mm. msali walk to up close and personal mm. eh yeah, akampatia mbili za kichwa i think ama moja mm. cuz ali drop tu alafu unaona um, umsiko next to yame drop so ina kanika wasa wawili walikam mm. from e direction na mm. e direction mm. so they were both killed at the same time so the mm. good thing is mm. we were horrified but aka mwenyewe mm. didn't see it coming mm. which i think it's a good way to go because mm. watu wanabaki na norman wase Mm, wala wasi wako wa kwa live yeah, yeah, yeah. eh but wema nyo na una, una back you menda hivyo of course ina go back to gun violence in SC yeah. mm. but if i'm to be honest uh did i mourn him not really why because i think he got away with murder mm-hmm. um um send yo alikuwa na date dem flani i think in 2020 ama 2021 mm. and he claimed the girl was suicidal uh, but the only reason i didn't buy the story was mm. there was a video of him like uh, having broken a door mm. wakiwa na argument no them so kulikuwa mm. na cct cctv footage mm. ya yeye kama mvunja mlango mimi nishai mm. kasirika life yangu yote mm. sije ivunja mlango usha ivunja mlango mm. na cheki mm. afu vunje mlango juu ya dem mm. so that's number one. and then that girl dies a mm. very horrible death cuz i think ali ali ruka in quotes kutoka mm. 15th floor ama mm. 10th floor mm. Mm. to her death Mm. Alafu budao dem akaulizwa like was your daughter suicidal budaki akasema zi. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alafu budaki alikuwa ni ya dola milionea. Mm. So kuna sana connect hizo dots. Oh shit. Mm. Mm. Kuna sana sema when you nini when you least suspect it I'll see you again. <laughs> so mm. if it happened immediately after the daughter yeah. Yeah. people would connect the dots. Yeah. Mm. Like because this one was personal this was not whatever this was personal. Mm. Like, mm. like up close papa make sure he's dead. Mm. move on. Mm. And I don't think South African rappers are doing that, najua. Cuz mseta kala kidube bila lidedi ilikuwa a robbery gone wrong. Mm. Yeah, man. So so that was mm. like yeah. So if we kill the girl which uh, kwa easy podcast mtu akienda skiza iko ni za kitambo, mimi niko na sema igora away with murder. Mm. I think it happened in 2021. So since he got away with that one like yeah tunafaa kusema uh, say good things about whatever people but mm. If you live by the gun you die by the gun if kona dilisha wase pia utapatikana tu so hiyo yake i don't know what happened but mimi nafikiria mimi ningekuwa kama investigator mm. ningekuwa naangalia buda yake mm. buda odem mm. kuzo buda odem alikataa alafu is a dollar millionaire don't mm. fuck with a don't dollar millionaire yeah. daughter like mm. unajiamini aje mm. unajua yeah. cuz some poor people shit you get away with it mm. cuz poor people mzao chote ya doki dogo Like this has happened I think in SA nini li happen. I remember kuna like sa similar story in SA mm. where the family was poor and someone ended up akinini. Yeah, alafu na joyo story ya nitangua nini hizo GBV mm. violence ya SA is on another level compared mm. to yetu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Una semata. Mm. Mm, you know you choose a country like SA to commit a crime. Yeah, yeah. Na una joyo uko ni they hold costs in the streets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, the whole mm. cuts in the streets man. They they don't yeah. care. I love another thing about them is the, the fact that um uh, I think cuz of the violence I always say like anyone who's been raised around white people ama anyone whose ancestors were around white people is mm. prone to be violent cuz mm. walami wana kuwa like the most violent people on earth. Unajua. Mm. Mm. Na yuno na chigi ile shida ina happen states wa black americans. Mm. Na chigi gile auaga quick to anger mm. nini. Same thing na AC very quick to anger cuz your ancestors wako ndio wa survive yeah ilibidi wako na that level of mm. violence in them mm. yeah mm. Jordan Peterson yeah, you have to be 
ready to be yani you have to be what capable of violence mm, yeah. mm, mm. so any aka tukitoka kwa aka of course tunaenda kwa yini very few people are going to be knowing about this but kuna group flani ya US inaitwa Dela Soul mm. so moja wa Dela msana inaitwa Dave alibaki amededi uh, alikuwa gana some heart condition mm. so kuna hata video yake na go round ile alikuwa anatembea na nini flani mm. 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 pesa yeah mm. it would shock him to nini to life mm. even nini oh, mm. uh, but the few photos nimechekiza his last days alikuwa ameisha kabisa si ndio mm. eh uh, ilikuwa imeanza kumpeleka uh, so uh, so that, that was mm. the last soul mm. legit so uh, dev man just in peace mm. uh, yeah. true goy yeah so he's on the to say zime happen he come to yeah. rap rappers, rap ish uh, mm. rappers of call it a rap Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, this yeah. Week. Uh, uh, mm. but at least Dave didn't go by hey, a ngenda na resourcing kwa so unfair because mm. they were so anti violence and all that bullshit. Enough of he should have been like the worst possible time for him I guess. Yeah. Cuz yeah. ni results cuz nanda see mm. what catalog the, uh, catalog ya ilikuwa nanda kuanza ku stream yeah, next third, month 3rd of uh, March 3 3 2 3 yeah. Uh, mm. third of march 2023 najua mm. muziki wao iko kwa any streaming platform for mm. the longest eh uh, yeah alikuwa na kafala fan yeah because come across some nini mm. uh, from dela sol kuna kasa mm. yeah tell yeah. me my motherfucking boy yeah mm. 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 uh, so season do shit is happen he come to uh, some rap shit mm. um yeah so uh, black eye biscuits and some of the ac struggle for independence also expose most people to violence yes 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 mm. uh, so at some point unakuwa got the desensitized yes and kuna mm. dehumanization so you're prone to violence because even someone like lucky dube lucky dube died of a bullet najua lazim mm. uh, but he kwa robbery gone wrong but ya kuonesha vile hiyo inchi inakuwa on some other ish yeah Eh, like kama thegi wa Kenya vile ufanyaga makarao na shoot hivi mm. na thegi wa South Africa ai hey, mm. oh, mm. oh, <laughs> ai ma, ma, ma wa Kenya hizi survive as in wale ni manga mm. ready to die like big small ni shida <laughs> tu unajua Kenya kwa gani anakuwa kama thegi yako ready to die mm. yeah anakuwa gana za za obvious which is a good thing because pia violence yetu tu zitakaiweka kaya huko yeah. Yeah. so um tukitoka kwa rappers wote twende tu on valentines day tuliombea inchi so saizi all we need to do is just sleep and wait for miracles to happen mm. so tusha, tusha ombea economy so saizi wote <laughs> usijali hata kama una job weka tu faith yeah. can move mountains yeah. kama una choma na jua mvua it's on its way yeah, yeah. 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 wacha ta mvua <laughs> ka una job tulia tu kwa kesha tu kejali <laughs> he'll provide <laughs> Eh yeah, alafu pia tukaambiwa mm. ati ati prepare your crops <laughs> the rain is coming. Yaani <laughs> mother. Ufa lady ameanza kutuchukua kama mafala. Mm. Cuz um, March mm-hmm. Kenya waga kuna nyesha, si ndio? Mm. Yeah, so of course people are preparing their crops. Yeah. But now alafu najua sio kanza, wasao ameanza zile za ovyo na compare. Mm-hmm. Apparently kuna time uh, uhuru alikuwa place ya WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Nichekio. Mm-hmm. Akona bonga kisaperi. Mm. Ugara eh hey, guy treda treda vura ama mm. treda. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Alafu kaanza kunyesha immediate. So kule. So 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 mikuwa wakikompare yeah. the two. Yeah. <laughs> like this side and the other side. So yeah. um it's 2023. We are still praying for rain like the Kenyan medieval man. Unajua. Alafu me the only problem I had with Tuesday was mm. this was televised. Unajua. Mm. Like when I try to imagine wale watu wanachukua kaa si ni mafala yani mm. design like why okay. kwa nilishangaa sana kucheki mm, mm. sakaja na deputy wake I'm, li- i'm there like fuck as in mm. leo kuna job inaendelea hii kazi yeah, 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 yeah. the whole country came to a standstill cause yes. we were sorry to say talking to ourselves mm. Ajua. Mm. like um mm. why like, yeah, najua saizi like, out of this iko nini ingekuwa much bigger mm. if we were not anti religion no joke yep. mm. like sometimes i look at this to religion mm. like podcasts mm. ka kuna umse you fanya ga podcast na manzi yake naitwa ben psycho mm. see the views they get cuz no as long as you are selling yeah. hope to people mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you'll go yeah, very far. Lot of but if you uh. but if you give people <laughs> reality yeah, like they, when they say like mm. good isa jona jua since <laughs> kwa mtu huyu mambo mm. kuna mtu ana look out for her mm but z this thing is so random and it's so 
not all dreams come true yeah um yeah money will save you more than kayu jinga so samanga mimi kuna kitu naogopa naogopa mungu pekee mimi naogopa polisi buda uniambie ogopa mungu wa kenya police naogopa kenya police because one is a reality the other one is a pigment of someone's imagination i'm sorry but i had to bring it up i bring up because i'm really pissed when i see a country comes to a standstill to waste time Mm-hmm. So literally that's what prayer is mm-hmm. and yeah, taxpayers time. money because mm-hmm. how much did they spend on yeah, yeah. you know like um ku brand your study yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, facilitation mm. i thought you know who was one of the most religious people uh presidents who are east africa apart mm. from magufuli mm. mm. ni kurunzinza Mm. Kurunzinza used to pray. <laughs> Kuna mpaka manini zake. Kule alikuwa gani Burundi. Burundi. Yeah. Kuna mpaka zake kama ameshikilia flag ya Burundi ya Mpray. Yeah. Covid yeah. came and wiped him off the face of this earth so fast. Najua. Sio ni ule mshauri kwa mchezaji wa ball. Eh eh huyo. Eh alikuwa gani hizo. Mchezaji wa ball. Akishika ball mnamwachia. Yeah. 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 The only reason hata scone maybe ame trip akaanguka. But was him talk. Although nini hata bila nafikiria as much as nasema one of the reasons that you grow mm. I think at some point the exponential will come because even lambistic mm. who was a preacher mm. uh, he just mm. talks shit like us. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's good. I always say it's very interesting to see when uh, Like religious, when religious people start seeing the reality although mm. a big shout out to uh, like a nikon ni fan and it was gaya gaya uchieng gaya uchieng from the US mm. na gaya mm. and i believe kuwa atakuwa the first person who will convince that jesus exists oh really yeah so he wants to have a debate with me gaya i'm ready gaya <laughs> <laughs> you gaya <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so alikuwa no gopa we can uh, gang up on him no yeah. no no guy yeah. i'll just handle you alone i don't even need me, anyone me, to help unajua kama kwa ile kama kwa hiyo ni si ongea ngi hiyo mimi huyo acha pa kivi yake so 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 kuna hiyo um, as soon as the debate happens ama the, the whatever with him tutabaki it to may post most probably first on patreon and then the mm, rest mm. uh lafu talking of patreon uh e wiki uh kwa patreon na pia kwa youtube members you can actually see ukiingia iko nini mm-hmm. sasa hii tumeamua kuwekea wasee hapo mzione youtube membership mm. utaona kuna ilikuwa nani nyerere mm. nini ya nyerere iko uh, both on patreon and uh, for the youtube members mm. for the youtube members uh, sasa hizi tunawapatia vitu cuz for a very long time As YouTube members you've not enjoyed any packs mm. so right now you're enjoying those Patreon packs I think maybe for the next one year mm. and then uh, packs as a YouTube membership na za Patreon zitakuwa tofauti mm. next week tuna hope we'll have some Patreon content for you but at least so far kuna hiyo we were talking about immigration uh, to Canada to the US it was mm. a very interesting conversation mm. Mm. so i say make sure me check i love of course a very big shout out to the silent patron because the silent patron really facilitate you i love say me check ilikuwa ni nani ndio gap gap gap, gap chiga mm. a shout from a super chat toko hiyo jina yake oga hard oga ngome mimi ndio tatu gap chiga ama He, joy, he never goes broke because his name got one G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um so 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 kuna kuna that. I'm mm. gapcho giga yeah, gapcho mm. giga. Gapcho giga. Oh ni ile jina ukusumbua. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, so so jaya hiyo lakini hiyo giga ya mwisho. I never go Gap. broke. My name <laughs> got 2G. J I 2G A giga. Giga ile wana jichocha jo. Yeah, black hibiscus poa poa ni aje ni aje. Eh, yeah, uh, black hibiscus kwa masai za Thailand. Mm. Yeah, kwa black hibiscus shasikiza kung fu jo. Kung fu ya Okelo okay, Max na Israel has night one ni. Na BN na Ben Sol. Mm. Mm. Uh, ben Solo ni mamba vile sema ngati yani uh, ukinipeleka Thailand nitakupeleka Bangkok. Sanje. Yes, I want you to talk shit. Eh, so so kulikuwa na hiyo. Um sa tukitoka hapo acha tubonge juu ya this other, other shit. Um hmm. Gavai mianzisha the Kenyan Grammys and I'm conflicted about this bullshit mm. cuz I think it's bullshit mm. um we don't need grammys we don't need to reward people uh mm. for whatever we need to come up with policies that work mm. uh e bullshit um say we're going to go around claiming and it will um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah 75% local music mm. we should be thinking of that more than thinking of awards mm. i love your awards shidangu ile niko nayo mm. There are very many few youth there. 
unajua mm. like basically ababu na mwamba mm. alichukua watu wale anawajua kama wase wake mm. alafu kabaki wa mapati ya jobs mm. achiki so i have a problem with that like i am happy for them for getting jobs mm. but what is this supposed to achieve the kenyan grammys what the fuck is that nigeria didn't reach where it is because mm. they started the nigerian grammys mm. <laughs> they reached a certain level mm. that now the world could not ignore it but the first way for you to reach that level has to start at the local level like mm. kuna hii clip ya harmonize nilichikisia mm. harmonize iko nani duli sykes mm. kwa ina go around hii wiki duli sykes alienda coast mm. alafu alikuwa na bonga juu how like mombasa radio stations don't support mombasa artists like even for a mombasa artist to make it they have to come to nairobi mm-hmm. what people forget otile brown is a mombasa artist mm-hmm. masauti mombasa artist mm-hmm. Jackie, these artists were not supported at home they had mm-hmm. to come to nairobi mm-hmm. so the same thing with kenya we don't support kenyan shit mm-hmm. eh, nigeria kuna sasa time inasemekana ga nigeria ilikuwa nyuma yetu kuna kuna seminar tulikuwa tumeenda naye yeah, yeah, music yeah. back yeah. in the days mm. na of course kuna i do the uh, hip hop like ulem say well, like when it comes to hip hop ni like promoter yeah ni kuna sema nigeria had no sound yeah yeah oh yeah. <laughs> 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 nigeria had no sound like 10 mm. years ago you yeah. know they mm. took kapuka mm. they took sijui nini but actually they don't have a sound so wao yeah. uchukua mm. ga whatever in a hit sai mm. uh, caribbean yeah mm. after they made it their own they made it their own. the mm. biggest people like right now nigeria has so many dollar millionaires mm. um through that afro shit so you have mm. you have um see in any the halftime show mm. yeah nba all stars the koni bana boy na rema Baby, come down, <laughs> come down. Mm. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Rema is going there with basically, okay, one song. Mm. But that one song is so big. I think like so far, it's gonna over 200 million views on YouTube. Eh? Mm. Mm. Um, that, which is just ridiculous. So, um, itakuwa ni Rema na nani. And it's cause lazima home, you appreciate first. Mm. Before the outside, you appreciate. Mm. Let's check it. Mm. So, uh, that 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 nini okay, of course tiktok imefanya afro music imekuwa very big mm. uh, kama kuna hiyo ngoma as uh, you mtapata leo waifa kini judge kini be like what do you do on tiktok mm-hmm. <laughs> kuna <'Cause> ngoma <laughs> jana ndio nimeanza kuisikiza seriously mm. i always hear the tune on tiktok but jana sikiza but jana was like e tune let me listen to the mm-hmm. lyrics mm-hmm. so ni ngoma ya li, libyanka check mm-hmm. on you mm-hmm. so um, tiktok has been very good for african music Uh, and through tiktok i think uh, the chinese without wanting to of course they mm. didn't know this would happen mm-hmm. but they've created a lot of dollar millionaires because mm. tukiangalia ck um tuangalie uh, ck see this this song is going over a billion views i think eh ile mm-hmm. ngoma love no one titi mm. uh, oh, at least half a billion uh, or something uh, oh yeah. yeah it's like ridiculous mm. uh, okay add i think okay maybe let me say quarter billion uki add the love no antiti the original plus the remix plus the chinese whatever the asian remix mm. comes to around maybe 300 million views that's a lot of money yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. and that's all courtesy of tiktok what they manage to libyanka apparently yongoma ali do just like the chorus on tiktok and people mm. lost their minds she went she ended up recording it she's from cameroon mm. so but based in new york Mm. um and so you have all that like that that's the power of tiktok and a eh, tiktok me say the african music kabisa ku say it go up there una tiketa nani umecheki moneo mix ya ude manito nani rihana cuz no rihana did that african dance ngende ka mix yo na lingala umesike sounds dope cuz ana nini ya alafu me kwa lingala after show ama a half time show yeah, yeah. Mm. she did that african you know, this wiggling if this is african yeah, yeah. Yeah. so she did that shit and uh someone decided to mix it up with like lingala mm. and it sounds dope yeah, and it's, it's 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 super dope yeah. so that's that's where african music is going as in mm. when you look at the whiz kids mm. the whatever half according to me they have better deals than these americans Mm. Eh, yeah, cuz um I could not say, I'm say Tijomori. Mm. 
mm. you are gonna shoot most videos that mm. i see mm-hmm. tijomori won't charge you a million dollars to shoot a video yeah yeah uh, of course in america they still st- a million dollars what the fuck are you doing are you shooting on the shoot shoot <laughs> shooting <laughs> on the video <laughs> it's bullshit <laughs> that's why i can hype williams i think on mm. isha evo because mm. technology can't allow you to do that bullshit yeah, yeah. Uh, so kuna kuna hizo vitu zile haziwak so uh stepanek asante sana for the super chat um uh, tunashukuru oh so mjaniambia ni african grammys mnaonaje ama ni kenyan grammys okay i i mm sionic to nenda kufanya yeah. but uh, apart from to provide employment i guess kwa yeah. wao sio wameandikwa job mm mm-hmm. but sasa shida ni pesa ya kulipa inatoka wapi sasa so. si si tax pay money yeah. so atakuwa na hizo ma so unless wa wafanye kitu drastic ile sasa ya ku change uh scene kwa what you're talking about if they yeah. can, if they are going to do that mm. then mm. we we'll, we'll probably see where the money is going yeah. but if mm. not um cause mean is a is a funny even is a sama nini what is it called um license ko like you pay mm. according to how much whatever you're doing mm. don't tell me that people want Beyonce if you want Beyonce you can get Beyonce online mm. Mm. if you want Beyonce most probably you are uh, Barbie in quotes mm. Ah, sengine. Like, if you're a good radio presenter, you should be able to make people listen to whatever you're playing. Yeah, yeah. yeah and mm. right now, within Yambia, Kenya does not have enough music. Kenya has enough, enough. music. If mm. you start with the old shit, mm. till now, you can run a station strictly based yeah. on Kenyan music. Ata koi staff ya Okto. There yeah, was some um, yeah. gentleman there from your area. Mm. Yeah, cost cost out you are. Yeah. yeah, that dude change yeah, the whole then, vibe. Yeah, I I yeah. my yake na Octo. Mm. Okay, who feel like uh, vibe yake, yeah, like his yeah. capabilities. Mm. Mm. Like ile ngoma ali perform yeah, peke yake was like what? Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then nigga mm. Octo was there like he was dedicating us your radio. This is on ngoma mlafa kuchi. <laughs> so so me you know yeah. the only thing up on it funny the Eric Omondi thing yeah. like tell these people you have to play 75% mm. does not have to be new music start from skuzaki na mushrooms eh mm. uh, tuende kwa maroon commandos amka mm. kumekucha kwani hizi ndizo sa like uh, mm. we start with that and then mm. we come from that till now mm. whatever is happening Yeah. Mm. So you can have minutes I insist on uh, you come to Kenyan music 60%, mm. you come to East African 15%, um that means TZ, mm. bongo pia is to is to to swallow. Mm. Love 25% ni international. But mm. for every international that you play, mm. there is a certain sort of taxation that needs to come with that. Yeah. Like you're paying more either for your license or for whatever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh oh, nani <laughs> blessed on tell on that my for did say about Beyonce again. I'm actually going to watch her go hey if you're in the US Beyonce is the shit not you as in mm. you understand but mm. we're talking about Kenya and we are we're talking about um people will always talk shit about their own yeah it's never good enough so mm. like mm. but then a story about Mali but Mali literally had to the whalers had to force people to play their shit <laughs> either you play the whalers or you live in the studio mm. this is Bob Mali the <laughs> I go na yeah for studio where are the whips so <laughs> 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 so um yeah. with that in mind it means <laughs> what sort of criticize kenyan music what are they talking about what are they talking about uh they always talk about sex a lot of nigerian shit is about sex it's yeah. just that they say it in mm. in their own way mm. uh, kama kuna hii ninja into nani Techno, and some man will give you a new Bugatti. I love one of my naive mm. <laughs> Bugatti. Ni Bugatti yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, I take no word. It's so obvious that dude does this. Maga in a dagatini, we can't. And they, these are now dollar millionaires. Yeah. Now you have to think about how much money would we make if mm. we made this sound Z to international. Yeah. Check. So. Mm. Mm. We are whatever we are we are fucking around and um uh place kama tz they play mostly tanzanian shit mm. um, so it's it's just something you have to do and alafu mtu ajisikia na zima zima radio unajua kama unataka kusikiza ads peke yake zima radio but mm. yeah i think um yeah i think that's what the grammys would do for me mr ian where grammys takufanya nini mm. 
I think these stories are MCSK to anzi hapo like eh amefika hapi kulipa wase hizi zinaitwaje royalties royalties but you know that poor grammy na jay receive royalty hata moja you get eh eh mm-hmm. last time kali ya ki receive ilikuwa ni thao eh okay okay post oh eh yeah, <laughs> nakumbuka kitu kama hiyo eh yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> mm. una unakuwa ona daji Mm. Now the same time you're being dishonored. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So kuna shit wana for our streamline. Before you start celebrating them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But nini uh, another thing lazima to say of course congratulations to everyone who got a job, najua. Mm. Yeah, of course. Because, uh, who made the panel. Yeah, this thing is just about making money. I think um Kenyan governments they know go all about money mm. and making money and uh, using up taxpayers money so mm. at least someone has benefited from the bullshit but mm. uh and Uliza, i don't think we need a grammys i don't think we need any award mm. um let's let's work on making next, our shit next international next to me mm. hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Nairobi whatever of them. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind that funny enough. Uh, yeah. but sasa shida ni tatumika tu for corruption. Mm. But kuna watu wana deserve that like Ojuang. Uh, Kile yeah, wa wa kina Ojuang akina nyuka kuota. Mm. Eh unajua. Mm. Yao wa say like that original KBC mm. those original KBC people. Yeah. They deserve they deserve something mm, i love for the hoka and uzia sweet jia star eh why cuz shit ain't sweet man eh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, life life <laughs> life is sweet jo um to talk about that bonge jo story really happened this some scary shit uh kuna mother anaitwa mary lilian waithera gavenya uh ali dedi katikati ya tao eh she just collapsed in the middle of town liko kaunda street um alafu after kudedi kaunda street akafikishwa uh, kafanywa autopsy mm. autopsy kwa she had a bullet lodged in her lungs so alafu inasemekana it was a fresh wound so ina maanisha kuna mtu alim shoot katikati ya tao and From this person was so good mm. that people didn't even hear the sound so because uh, easy silence as you give le what to claim kwa movies mm. so inasemekana he was from an elevated position so most mm. probably from nini mm. building uh, mm. Mm. so kumekuwa na a lot of stories about what happened mm. to her mm. kuna watu wanasema that uh, she was a whistleblower which i think is bullshit mm. um but yeah but so ukiangalia hii timeline ni scary because mm. 5 pm she left her workplace si ndio mm. alikuwa na colleague yake anaitwa Damari Sochieng a uh, Chieng mm. when mm. he headed to town 5:30 30 minutes later she complained of chest pains collapsed and was bleeding outside optica alafu medics wakafika 28 minutes later look at how fucked up that the is fun. 28 minutes later alafu the body was taken to uh, nini uh, Nairobi hospital mm. Uh, police visit the scene and classify it as a sudden death incident lakini uh, Kenyatta University Hospital mortuary ndoka reveal a bullet lodged in her lungs so the question is makarao ko na bullet wound like where did the bullet enter mm. wana sema iliko mm. kwa collarbone mm. mm. but what is it that she yeah like ikingililia hapa mm. ndio iteremke mm. mm. Nujota, that's a professional job mm. if she was assassin- assassinated yeah, mm. yeah. you need so good ni a skilled sniper mm. skilled plus you know when you are hit by a bullet eh? mm. you're supposed to use blood am yeah, I mean De- profusely expect. yeah mm. at least but depend, your mouth. it depends yeah, yeah. Com- but it depends mm. cuz sa kayo yake unajua kuko na exit wound Mm, 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 mm. so you know the bleeding normally that talk from exit wound oh okay mm. so he mm. yako wagani ina kana ko gani kashimo kadogo sana mm. the entry mm. exit ndio ina kwa shida so hapo mm. sasa ndio ina kama maybe distance mali bullet ilitoka mm. haikuwa na enough power ku mm. penetrate na kutoka mm. so yeah. mm. that, those are yeah. the 
things that like ukiangalia logically zinaka hivyo but mm. of course wa, wa wenye mm. wakifanya uchunguzi anaweza yeah. pata pia ni bullet aina gani maybe ni tule tu mm. unajua kuna ushaanze kitu tule tu gun <laughs> tutosha na nani ni na kidole eh hizo ni ni sio kwa ni kabuli eh kwa sababu kama msema msema alipita tu akapita na hata haezi sikia hata hiyo kelele kama dream ita hapo kando imepiga eh ama boda boda ipigeje hiyo kelele na umeshutia watu hata haezi sikia alafu sasa vile ni kadogo mimi naenda kufia huko mbele anyway i'm just speculating it's, so it's ni ni jo it's left na ime change hata vile unakuwa kitembea tao jo mm. 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 yeah, yeah. mm. kuna vitu lakini mtu afikirie gije yake because mm. yeah unaweza shindo flow fitter about it always talk kwa hao kwa hao tao ime kwa don't look up yeah 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 because sada kuna ile story na nini alipatia naga mkurugenzi mm. story ya mtoi wa dalma sotienu mm. ule alidedi gije alikuwa states but alikuwa amevaa headphones mm. Mm alafu apparently kulikuwa na like a, accident accident ya yeah, ndege, ndege so debris was na na debris na cheki mimi ni msao kutembea gun headphones man so mm. that's some scary shit mm. you always live life yako hivyo mm. like everything cuz pia mse kuna solid digio lolo wakiwa kwa hao juu nini ilianguki hao kuna ndege isha yanguka mm. lolo mm. mm. eh, kaloleni Mm. Watu waka didi kwa hao so mm. hawezi man death is everywhere man this, yeah. this shit is mm. whatever like damn i will man sisters wait will survive mm. it's like it's one of those things like this freaking skin how mm. <laughs> this thing is fragile as <laughs> no yeah mm. it's so like yeah stupid mm. nini love talking of open wounds mna chiki you mother na itwa oruba so oruba uh, ni senator flani uh, okay. na aliamua ku, ku highlight <laughs> inaitwa period poverty mm. so what she basically did was she stained her trousers mm. and the men in parliament lost, lost their yeah, shit, shit. Mm. <laughs> but i think she got her point across yeah, that, was, like, mm. that was it uh, man, mm. so such a powerful statement um because yeah. Of course like due to poverty mm. kuna madema easy afford ni yeah of course mm. Mm. Yeah, pads mm. so that's what she was trying to put across like pads mm. need to be free because considering mm. kuna ma company ukienda nini unapata ga condoms ziko free kwa kwa yeah. choo yeah. it doesn't yeah. make sense mm. Yeah. Mm. so condoms ni free and then pads zinauzwa zinauzwa mm. yeah mm. so I think mm. she got her po- point across. So lonely on our Twitter kuna mafala ziko zinanyita yani. Eh, yeah, yeah, mafala zilimbash sana. Yeah, zilimbash. I, I think in Twitter kuna vile ime create uh, fragile masculinity. Yeah, I understand. I don't I don't subscribe to the bullshit ya toxic masculinity. Mm. Cuz toxic what what's considered toxic is mostly just being masculine. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there is some shit that comes with being a man. Mm. <laughs> And that nowadays is considered toxic. Mm. Yeah. But fragile I understand there are men who are super fragile mm. like mm. if someone is highlighting this and you are all there losing your shit on the internet mm. you're a very weak man mm. as in mm. just find out what is she trying is mm. she's trying to start a conversation yes the yes. conversation is here nakasema mm. yeah she's mm. she's trying to introduce a bill yeah yeah, mm. yeah. and i yeah. think it's overdue ni kitu inafaa washa bonga about the parliament but unaangalia pia on the other side Yeah. kuna wale MPs wenye wanataka ku distribute hizo nini and they gain yeah you know mm-hmm. Oko na organizations za ku supply hizo yeah. vitu mm. alafu imenionyesha ni kipi ana for free kuna organization zita shut down mm. yeah alafu hii strategy but nilicheka sana like one of mm. uh, one of the dudes like one of our fans based in the US alikuwa ananiambia juu ya like one Kenyan celebrity wala mm. <laughs> mm. ali contribute kutoka kwao <laughs> and then they never saw the shit going here mm. Mm. Yeah. that dude was like fuck that nigga kuna <laughs> 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 some dude aba aba Kenya ili yeah. kuna do your your run ya ya nini your run yeah. um, uh, like sanitary pads and all that bullshit mm. yeah, this dude was who was doing that shit Mm. Oh, sure, so yeah. vile alikuwa msemenye alienda ka states now of mm. course Kenyans in America they see you there and they're like yeah we want to support you or whatever mm. eh hey, ile kitu ali contribute na kitu aliona ikitolewa Nairobi alikuwa like <laughs> <laughs> we just got played <laughs> yeah, yeah. so 
from that to being like one of the best producers in Kenya mm. so that's that's me love talking of uh, kisi kuna msefu lani alinibamba sana um i'm saying it was silas ni silas nyanchwani mm. so silas nyanchwani i think ndiye ali end up ame watch uh, episode ya nani ali watch episode ya um saying ya nani uh, bobby mapesa mm. alafu now he decided like to analyze it from the fatherhood perspective in Kenya mm. and the way a lot of fathers like did not know how to raise their kids najua mm. mm. uh, so uh, anaitwa Silas Gisiora Nyanchwani mnaweza mtafuta on um, on Twitter, Twitter mm. as he on Facebook eh? mm. uh, so hiyo article yake alibaki ali name nini ali name of fathers who destroy children Love now he talks about uh yonini story so one of the things he lali ni bamba nayo ni alikuwa anasema like of course these are mostly people dealing with trauma mm. of their own mm. and then they decide to unleash that trauma on their kids and mm. now it's this never ending cycle mm. Mm. Uh, uh, so like uh, one of the things that lulisa ni was your father unnecessary unnecessarily cruel uh, how did you cope did you, uh, do you hate him do you understand him are you just indifferent um what i've come to notice with a lot of people is they still love their fathers um mm, mm. they they justify it in their minds mm. and how do they justify it they justify it through saying that it helped them i love for now what they're going to do is they're going to do the exact same shit with their kids and musa maga like um there's no perfect father out mm, there mm. Um, and it's a learning process Because of course you get scared like uh mimi kuna time mtu yangu ufanyaga vitu zingine za kipumbavu na shindwa like how am i supposed to handle this because mm-hmm. i've chosen like i'm not going to use violence mm. and it's something that maybe i find like this is not respectful yeah. um and if she continues with it it's going to to whatever her on her path mm. so i remember like i had to have like a talk with her this week and as a father and a daughter in a kwa tricky cuz daughters know that their tears are so powerful so mm, like when mm. i was having the conversation with her she was just crying and so now i was there wondering like what's going through this kid's mind mm. is she questioning my love for her mm. am i she mm. whatever so uh, i'd tell people like no one is a perfect whatever yeah. but mm. don't use violence especially the amount of violence that i've seen kids go through yeah wengine and even their mothers you know you like the ma- your mother is supposed to be now your safe haven yeah unapata kuna watu wao wamechomwa na mamadha zao wame unajua like kazi ni kona skia kona skaz kwa mgongo eh ati mother anapika ugali anachukua ile nini ya ugali anachoma nayo mtu yake amezaa like like eh kuna kwa gana hizo so and then people think that this award turn you into whatever so it's it's mm. it's nini yeah, yeah. Mm. so um, alafu kuna ni black eye biscuits anasema my old man never punished me in any way he's old now and we talk happy mean shape at another story mm. mtu alikuwa ni chapa ilikuwa gamadha but it was super rare it mm. was that like niki compare na ma makuzo zangu mm. like some went through hell mm. like really like their fathers were just these assholes <laughs> and somehow they came out on the other side mm-hmm. um eh koskina ile ni pia umse umse alisema alisema like uh vile especially girls like daughters make mistakes as teenage girls and their fathers scar them for life mm-hmm. najua mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. was so the your design like una pata like a teenage girl ends up getting pregnant yeah. it's fucked up as a mm. father you're going to be annoyed eh, mm. but you have to also take responsibility on what didn't you do yeah. to try and mm. whatever whatever eh i you know some dude man mtu yake alipata mtu and she was still under the yeah. care of yeah. the parents mm. na look at my daughter high school yeah um sasa you are recognize mtu at all mm. 
even akibai vitu za keja mm. ignores the kid cuz even the yeah, yeah. kid even yeah, the, the dad kid. yeah hey, that's a nasal <laughs> okay, that's a nasal mm. ata chu they want to know and dad yeah mm. okay and this this are supposed to be called father mm. I mean, mm. you failed in your job like cuz mm. kuna times see see nini see uh uh see usahawigi like these kids didn't play any role you are having sex mm. you are having fun yeah. so it's your fun that brought this human <laughs> yeah. so us use letter what to say of you yeah so kuna black eye biscuits na some my mother was a snake hey shit mm. <laughs> damn man <laughs> like in the kitumu find the gig yeah, you are black, very interesting that's like i have yeah, yeah. yeah i found people who actually not tight with their mothers mm. and so kuna black hibiscus alafu uh, kuna pia uh, nini omsesa alikuwa ana ana enjoy that kenyan celebrity ni mm. omsesa ni twandongo mm. ndongo mm. pia was telling me the same thing like he's not tight with his mother mm. and i'm there thinking like damn cuz me mm. was tight with my mother kuna mtu anasema ti suko unapenda mama yako you are a mother's boy and she wanna like even the way lambistic talks about people and their mothers mm. i'm like that's your mom like mm. me my mom Uh, I don't have any feminine whatever. Mm. I think I'm as masculine as can be. Mm. But I was tight with my mom cuz mother see at alikuwa ananivalisha dresses na joy lo zile like cuz mother mother alikuwa gana rule moja. Ukienda nje upigane. Tukuja kwa hao yake. Alikuwa ga lingthi. Nyamaza. Lingthi ni nyamaza. She had that one rule where like we end huko nje. Alafu ukikam kuna bleed. Yeah. She live in Nini attack panguza. Mm. Yeah. I shouldn't ask you yeah. what happened because yeah. you are a dude mm. handle your shit outside. Yeah. Okay. Sit kitaba mtu yao mtu. Mm. Alafu mtu akamkuteta kwa mother. Mm. Mother atamsikiza, amsikize afa sema oh, okay. Mm. Nenda kuongea na ye. Mm. Hata kuuliza. <laughs> <laughs> so ilikuwa wewe ukipigwa, ukipigana mm. hana shughuli. Yeah. Ukipigwa mm. hana shughuli. Mm. I love kuna like one of the most powerful things nani alipati ama juzi inaitwa nani um no kuna ile story ya dr king ori mm. sema vile budaki alimbaya kiatu mm. and it was not the cool shoe remember that mm. so he was like the way he judged his dad and he was crying and and his dad just took it mm. Oh shit my mother was different what <laughs> hey mother <laughs> Why they can't take away shit? Why they look like a sick? Like she was really violent and she is till it's time bullshit guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so I yeah. Yeah. Ni sana Africa no way. Kila kitu imeletwa. Ukisha hapo unasema mtu anasema nini? Asante. Asante. Ataka huko una. Yeah, la jo tu, la jo tu jabambika nayo lakini ukishaishika hivi. Ukishaipozesa na kwa mtu anasema nini? Eh. Asante. Ye, yeah, kuna nyana. Kusi si funny enough, mm. mother, yeah. haikuwa lazima mwambie asante. Eh. The only thing <laughs> ilikuwa never complain. Complain. Yeah. So mm. she'll bring you the most bullshit bullshit ever. Mm. I love you kwa like everyone else is doing whatever. Don't. Mm. Ujaribu mm. tu kitu kidogo. Yeah. Mother alikuwa na chapana ga coffee. Iko ni the black black and side. Yes. <laughs> alikuwa na kusetera. Unatulia. So kuwa gana that. And then that's the funny thing about like mothers. Mm. Like she's the only one who used to get violent with us. Mm. And we were still like all super tight na yeah, yeah. shida buda. Mm. Cuz I think we were mm. able to see both sides of yeah. extreme love mm. and extreme whatever. Yeah. So I think my Buddha if you got uh, a chance eh? yeah uh, for a man when you're growing up mm. you're not close to your dad yeah, yeah. I don't know kama ni, ni nature yeah. man to man mm. uta mm. feel ni kama anakupatia that tough love yeah ila yeah. nakukipa at a distance mm. you learn shit the hard way mm. at maybe unaweza mm. kuata si violent na nini mm. cuz in come kuwa close to my dad when I married oh okay Yeah. Mm, so you could complain like atumia atumia sometimes sometimes ajibata ajibata tukiongea na lili tukiongea na buda about women mm. eh mm. like don't understand your mom so they start you know they wanaanza kushow like 
what they went through what yeah, they are going yeah. through so mm. unaanza kuji picture kum picture mm. when you are young so automatically unapata you close and close to him mm. pole pole oh mm. that's mm. nene mm. interesting so okay. you like used to go through this shit mm. sana kuanga hata kuambi ana smile tu kimwambia about she does you need it not gotten enough sleep <laughs> Sijini nini nini nini. Ana kuangalia tu ana smile. <laughs> <laughs> Now you see why well, your dad yeah. was so quiet most uh, of the time. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Cuz uh, alikuwa which, anaona which, like mnapo entertainment mm. na your mom and then you know they they shit na mabuda wengi. That's mm. when uh, that's the time when he ana go through uh. zile ma <laughs> mabilu metoa kwa chuo. Yeah. Mki chekesha chekesha hapo and the, pia mother wanajua like a wezi of a that as it is they have that thing so years later it a hit it a hit natajipara tu ki na tu mtaani just want to talk to that nigga yeah, teach yeah. me your ways how are you so calm yeah, during this <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. um, so kish yeah. kish my world and some uh, i love my mom to death mm. but i find it hard to fall in love um i think cuz ddl come smart like uh If a guy doesn't love his mom, mm. he can't love any other woman. Okay. Mm. I, I don't know about that. Kuna vitu zile siwezi relate because as I said mimi kwa tight mm. tight na mm. na na mother so mm. I, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. Then kuna Da Vinci Roba na sema my dad was cold, he still is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alafu kwanza my I learned nothing from my dad. It was military upgrade up, 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 up bringing. Um yes, so there the, the, is that mm. where mm. Our dads felt that was love mm. and it wasn't um cause mm. we we'll always lie to ourselves that what if you are not treated like one two three one thing i can guarantee you is uh poverty and violence to, to kids zinakuwa very mm. related mm. Mm. uhuru was not raised with violence mm. Mm. uhuru ended up being the president of this country you might not like him you might not love him Mm. but he was not raised with violence mm. Mm. Cause you can try and imagine first of all his dad was old mm. Mm. Alaf, apart from his dad being old his mother was the first lady you expect mm. the first lady of the country kiboko kichapa mtoyo yake the second thing they owned all the land so hizi ambao utakuwa mwizi baba uko tayari alikuwa mwizi okay so okay but unajua hizi ambao hizi ambao utakuwa mwizi na take it so uh he was not raised with that level of violence so kuna ile like level of violence watu hiyo na pitishwa like mm. even tuzangalia utapata ruto was raised with violence mm. ndio mm. ni ruto was not raised with violence mm. understand mm. so kuna hiyo na ile design if you find a rich man really beating up his kids mm. that rich man has a problem because mm. mostly finances na vitu kama hizo ndio fanyaga yeah eh uh, juka na kukata tukibonga na king ori nikimuliza like did his dad react violently and he was like no and i was like what the fuck damn mm. like shit like when we were kia to love go he's getting so much i love your dad yeah. who's struggling does not react violently as in mm. that man was like such an uh, yani it's someone i admire yeah uh, yeah cuz there's that shit like yeah. some some whatever uh, Um, alafu kuna dia anasema I came to appreciate my parents when I got kids everything started yeah. making sense when I became a parent oh, okay mm. so di ulikuwa natandikwa kwa ni ama na kama unatandikwa unatandikwa watu hivi ukiwa California so utaenda jail at oh uh, bid al anasema ti bid al anasema uh, but a lot of rich guys uko nje wanapiga bibi I, i know such motherfuckers what happens with this Now also rich men who beat their wives mm. are those men who became rich. Some men who became rich after marrying. You understand? Mm. Mm. So try to imagine all your life you've been poor, then all of a sudden you are earning millions. Mm. You're earning millions you're on social media, you see the likes of Vera Sidika, you see the likes of Huda. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And say your wife wako ni kakenyeji flani. If you're a weak dude, you're going mm. to start beating your wife because you hope that this woman mm. ule amejianika kwa internet mm. that's your level that's mm. yeah. mateki mm. umesahau like huu ni literally yeah. it's just sex work in a different format najua mm. mm. kusikile susahau kitambo sex work you had to be on the street kwa kona flani 
But right now sex work si lazima. Mm. Ajua. Mm. But if I have to entice you with money and whatever whatever to some degree sex work. So yeah. kuna hizo raya wenda ziki treat my wife ziba. Nisha ipata na guy story ya uh, like this dude that uh, I was I used to hang around. So this dude like was poor, sindio? Mm-hmm. Like married his wife ile time he was still poor. Mm. A very skinny dude. He's one of like these top Kenyan celebrities. Mm. I, I can't say who. But most probably nyem ta connect dots mtajua which which motherfucker I'm talking about. Mm. So this dude ends up impregnating this girl. They're still poor. Sindio? Mm. Impregnates the girl gives birth to his son. Mm. And then the stars align. And now the money can't stop trickling in. Mm and this dude is like one of the highest paid Kenyan entertainers. Mm. This motherfucker never goes anywhere. He's always somewhere around money. Mm. But now this dude apparently hates his wife so much. He loves his son mm. but hates his wife. Cuz ule mm. demalipata according to him seems super enough for his mm. level of wealth. Mm. 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 Because mm. as soon as you have money, yeah. all these fly in quotes women want you. Yeah. But this person who believed in you and you are a piece of shit, yeah, yeah. And now all of a sudden you don't <laughs> appreciate her. And to me, that takes that's a weak man. Mm, a weak man. Mm. Like, me in a kwan, eh, at him, I don't know, and Demiango, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because, like, when you were gonna, like, you know, while doina za tengeneza kwa kitu kingine. Si ganye mshaona ga huyu sijui huda. Huda akiona yule mse wa manyake. Kuna video flani ni surface. Nika. Alikuwa na ameparara mbaya. Alikuwa ameparara. Alikuwa ameparara. Mhm. Mwangalia mazee unaweza fikiri kamera ndio ina smooth and your skin. Bila alipata manyake. Yeah, so kuna yeah. kuna vile unaweza tengeneza kienyeji but still yeah, yeah. kuna kama kama, kama miss anyways mm. maybe if i could go into that but kama ulipatana na yeye hivyo yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter cuz kitu uliona hiyo time bado mm. unaiona size hizi so mm. unless sana ni hiyo vile unasema tu hiyo fragility kiasi yeah, yeah. yeah. cuz mm. kitu uliona kwake bado iko haijapotea mm. 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 So maybe when you know we a level higher but yeah in essence mm. Mm. anyway yeah, kuna kuna hizo mapumbavu so so kuna hizo like alafu kuna Pablo alikuwa anasema issue moja fathers deal with the most men cannot be vulnerable or show emotions at a life you are pigaje mm. eh yeah, yeye yeah, kuna hiyo mm. uh, but still i have to give credit to the president the present president used to show emotions <laughs> 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 and Shalin would be there holding him <laughs> be vulnerable around your wife unaweza kuwa rais wa hii nchi wewe uli alafu kwa hapa nje life inakutandika so yeah so uh, kuna hiyo alafu uh, pia black eye biscuits and some self esteem some of fathers and then they project their shit on kids uh, yes alafu that's one thing i wanted to know like is that level of violence and anger as much in central province as it is in like nyanza and western Mm. Cuz me had say like I know so many low kids who just it's just trauma unjua mm. like and this violence sometimes comes like at your story na bonga jia nini kuchomwa na nini ya sembe mm. some low woman ocha mm. yeah so mm kwenye kuna kwa gaivo like How mm. how's the violence in in central like come to kids like even the, the most poor families is it, is it that bad Yeah yeah ni mbaya oh, okay okay ni mbaya mm. ni ile unasikia mother anaambia mtu huyu nitakuua mm. <laughs> You know what you know what before kuchapwa mm. the yeah, physical yeah. act yes yes you know not that those words mm. mm. cuz it might not be even physical kuna mm. nyuto mm. miaga words zingine Mm. Eh, as in tu yana shinda tu ako hindi lesson ya tano na bado yeah, anafikiria yeah. like am i still going home to you know yeah, mm. to mom or dad because mm. pia words can also cause the same amount of damage yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. but pia kuna raya unapatanga ilikuwa i know my neighbors walikuwa na vunjona nini 
na fan belt yeah ya ndai nyeza ndai hizo eh jui katika hangi oh <laughs> we sisi na mimi nakumbuka tukiwa toili yeah. ile yetu na grand mbuyu yetu ilikuwa ilikuwa tu ni, ni kiboko tu ya kawaida mm. but ni vile yake sasa ilikuwa gaye yeah. mm. ame alikuwa na ujanja fulani kwa sisi mm. we were some bad kids mm. tulikuwa tuna, tulikuwa tuna, we always had like we were a step ahead of him mm. so pia yeye ali have ku kunene ku adapt mm. so sasa ingine unapata amekuita mm. ile design so wewe oh, ukishajua hapa ni kubaya tunaenda kuchapwa mm. au <laughs> kuji karibu yake unapita huko kando kama umeingia kwa nyumba cuz mm. ile kitu yake moja nilikuwa nime like ni mm. kaa shida ilikuwa ni anataka uingie kwa hao kwa sababu mm. nimetoka kucheza mm. yeah. yeah. ukishapita uingie kwa hao Mm. Hakuna tena kupanishiwa kwa zusha yenda. Mm. But sasa nataka kukuonyesha umefanya makosa. So before uingie kwa hao si lazima uchapwe. Mm. Sasa tuko tunapita mbali huko. Mm. So alikuwa anaenda atafuta kiboko kingine ndefu ile hata kama umepita huko <laughs> akimfanya tu hivi once. <laughs> But I don't think ilikuwa ni ile design sasa mpaka unatafuta yeah. gadgets za kuchapa. Mm. Yeah. Although yeah. sasa zile stories hizo kia akiwa miango wa toyo wake sasa Mm. alikuwa anaona gavita zingine pia mm. za zijuani. Juu hata ni kichop kulikuwa na cases za uh, absenteeism. Mm. Kwa mm. zulikuwa napata raili vunjwa jana ikapotea kwao. Mm. Oh. oh. Sana shangana ni alirudi wapi? Naona mm. ameletwa mm. ameletwa chuo na grandmother yake. Yeah, cause home ni wo. Nasema uko kuna taikana peace juu. Eh. Yeye ni samshia. Yeye alikuwa ga serious. Na yeye by the way kicheki wase wa generation yetu. Mm. Mm. Na maybe when you call just next to us tunakuanga mm. na shida sana ya kuji express. Eh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's even the reason why uh movie recording has been automatically mm. ne. Uh that's even one of the reasons why um it one in like we struggle even with acting. Mm. As mm. Africans cause mm. Uh, as Africans we are not allowed to show our emotions mm. so it come to acting where you have to show your emotions mm. in a come in a kwa hard yeah. but look at like even african actors who've been raised in other countries mm. the kaluyas of this world they're mm. super good lupita yeah she to be born in mexico she to yeah yeah mm. so kuna kuna hiyo level alafu pia hapa kuna hii nini siko nimeona um kwa kuna Black Ibiscus alikuwa anasema given the chance uh, madhake bado angekuwa anampiga mm. uh, and so ina maanisha they are not close up to mm. now yeah. and Black Ibiscus is in his 40s mm. alafu Elizabeth Chemtail alikuwa anasema what about wa mama waliacha watu wao kwa bwana alafu yeye nikumbusha uh, yeah, I think Ian utakumbuka na kumbuka msanii wa Dolphin mm mtu mm. eh uh, eh uh, mm. poet eh uh, mm. also that such you kuna hiyo poem iko kwa hiyo they iko nini channel mm. Mm ni to mama alishia mm. and iskie so he he paints the picture of being left by his mom because mm. we always talk about dads who left their kids mm. we forget about moms, moms okay. who mm. need mm. i think even that would be an interesting conversation now i'm saying because he did mm. the poem mm. but we never yeah i think i'll reach out to him one okay. day to kaitini because mm. he was abandoned by his mom because mm. that's like one of the it's so unheard of like i remember mm. kitambo nikisikia minema kitok shit juu ya madhake mm. like what Because mm. in my world i wouldn't even be at your funeral Cause yeah. Cause like what the like in my world <laughs> all the mothers i've seen yeah. mm, uh, like my aunties zangu mm. and whatever they were they loved their kids mm. so much mm. and i had the cases of blah 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 mechomwa na nini amechomwa na nini mm. but kuna hiyo the love that was there yeah na cheki mm. alafu cuz this also reminds me you know let him to have the conversation about my pesa mm. akisema vile the dad beat him so much mm. that now him he stopped being close to his mom cuz you angalia mm. gama dhaki ana ulizo like why didn't you stop him mm. yeah cheki mm. so ona ona tu ana ana ona pop new bones mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cuz I, i had an aunt yeah um mwenye alienda ka kadamp mtoi mm. just won't mention like how we are related mm. uh, alienda ka aka akadamp mtoi kwa job place kwa my uncle mm. eh yeah, yeah. kid was one year mm. one year in some months just shy of you know 
vania mtu ya kona complications za lungs at the time eh um blood yake sijui nini ndio akaenda akafosiwa ku get early circumcision mm, mm. was advised by the doctor eh yeah, yeah. um mtu ya tajui like still in diapers mm. unaangalia this is a, such a young boy man mm. kanalia so libidi tuishi na eh mm. mtu alikuwa analia all the time all the time na jo tu ana ana tafuta attention mm. na jo sai some watu yoki wao yoy they just need to be close to yeah eh kwa you know kwa nyonyo ya mam mm. atulie tu Maybe at a sikum shake mm-hmm. alale yani that warmth akai mm-hmm. tu hapo hivyo so you know at a, we we grew up akitu ita akalikuwa kana twitter mom yeah oka boy mm-hmm. so akai kola jua mom ni so whoever takes care of you yeah who ni yeah. mama ko so akalikuwa <laughs> siko natembea na yeye tukienda shop mm-hmm. so akalikuwa anita mom <laughs> <laughs> but like your condition so is your i but right now i don't know if he's okay i uh, know he's okay now oh okay okay he's okay uh, uh, my he's uncle ended that. up he's, uh, ended he's up adult marrying now. yeah uh go ah. from 3 oh okay 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 mm. yeah so mm. they are like maybe later sasa i hope mm. her turns a bullshit like you know eh uh, anza kuletea the the step mom mm. i don't even know he knows yeah um anza kumletia za ovyo like you know sijui nini 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 because mm. you know the shit and yali kalipitia mm. wakati huo eh mm. you have seen him from the like kwenda nini hiyo potty training eh yeah, yeah. yeah, like kwenda hivi kufanya nini mm. yeah. okay yeah, so ukisema the mothers who leave their kids that one i know for sure yeah and, and then, it's it's so interesting like yeah. Afi na kuonyesha vile tunakuwa like animalistic because mm. you know that's kuna animals pia wacha gato yao. Mm. Uh, mm. animals who are like wedge bang. Mm. But also kuna mm. kuangana hiyo condition. Mm. Um kai nimenikumbusha. Anyway, just finish your point. There's a condition when you happen mm. but you know sometimes uko kwa maternity eh. they go through a lot of pain. Eh eh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Mothers who give birth or when i give and una, they post- end up rejecting the kid eh hey, ndongo postpartum depression yeah, depression mm. eh yeah, eh yeah. wana atai kumuona atai mm. kumnyonyesha it happens sana sana eh yeah, eh yeah, mm. yeah, kuna kogana hii na hiyo mm. shit uh, mm. alafu kuna bs anasema there's a teacher in high school i was in the mm. guy used to fold an english textbook and slap us with it <laughs> ali slap my desk mate hadi akanitemea mate on english <laughs> shit <laughs> Like that's some bleeding shit. It was it? Like ah, uh, half is not some like I don't think Kenyan education is worth the violence. Mm, it's uh, not uh, <laughs> so kuna with corruption. Hai. Alafu pia the like the quality of the education is not at equal eco top notch mm. that it mm. needs violence. Mm. It's like you can teach me this bullshit without whooping my ass because mm. it's not like this bullshit is mm. life changing. Mm. Mm. Um alafu kuna Um, say to da Vinci Robal consumer women will forever receive love just cuz they are women as for men you receive love uh, uh depends on the value you have created for yourself um uh, that's that's i'd say that's subjective cuz there's a lot of wives going through hell right now mm-hmm. as i said there are those assholes who get rich and um uh, start treating their wives like shit mm. there are also men who fail in life and they also maga you hurt the people who love you Mm. so they end up hurting their wives so mm. Mm. i'd say considering population 50 50 everything is 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 50 50 mm. like they are uh, of course come to women receiving love from their kids yes we are most likely i'm more likely to love our mothers than our fathers because mm. you come from inside this person mm. like you share mm. more with them you share more with your mother than your father because mm. at some point mm your life depended on this person yeah. like if they stopped breathing it meant you mm. are gone you are gone yeah, yeah so mm. i think that connection just stays mm. there therefore i think pia nature intended it that way because mm. the mother w- was there to nurture you mm. the dad was just supposed to spread the sperm cuz how mm. israel was going to spread sperm alafu maybe i am spread sperm hivi alafu ikasema like 
Wacha ni stretch tu kidogo nifike pale. Nenda na stretch kabisa. Na over stretch. Kifika pale mbele. Kina bwana na sichi kama eh nenda nenda kupoteza nini hiyo? Kwach kwach wa gani ni? I think kwach is just some wild animal. Na some wild animal that should never comes back. I think it was I think it was necessary for nature for the mother to have that connection with the with the whatever. Eh eh but Of course we share all these stories so that we we ourselves mm. can rajua <laughs> like do things different. Yeah. Yeah, usikuwe mtu una raise since your father raised you with violence or uh, your mother raised you with violence uh, uh, you're raising your kids with violence. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there's a respectable spanking yeah. level mm. which I can respect. Mm. But kuna chapato you are compaka wana bleed mm. it's time to check yourself unajua. Yeah. Mm. Eh lakini kan ile kusunja watu wapi waga full of shit. Ni shona geta raya zina zina kuzi. So like you know yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. uh. So so kuna hiyo but usikuwe the person ule ana raise watu wake na certain level of violence. Mm. Mm. I love just cuz your father maybe raised you with that level of violence and right now the two of you are close. Yeah. Does not mean that, that motherfucker was not abusing you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So mm. Mm. Pia kuna ninja zikwangi available. Mm. They know what's happening with the kids. Mm. Yeah. Eh nigga inafika ngazi ya saa 6. Yeah, eh yeah. kuna kwaga na hiyo. Uh, yeah. Like you spend so little time with your kid. Yeah. Mm. Alafu before tuendelee mazee kuna vile itabidi 